So I'm here with uh, Matt Richardson from Furious Driving. Hello. If you're watching my channel, you're probably already watching Matt. Uh, Matt's on the stand here today with uh, Mr. Ian Seabrook, who I spoke briefly on the channel on the Hubnut video uh, before. I'll put a link to that probably at the end. Uh, and Steph, who's not on the stand at the moment from iDriver Classic. Uh, now, Matt's brought this uh, fantastic Volvo, and this was bought for the cheap car challenge, it? was wasn't a cheap it? car challenge that never happened, because lockdown did instead, which turned out to be a lot less fun mm. than the of, you know, going drag racing so if I, I would heartily recommend do drag racing don't do lockdowns that's my recommendation for today yeah I actually um, <clears throat> I watched the last cheap car challenge video I oh, with the started Hyundai. going yeah. through the back catalogue of mm, videos and, yeah. uh, and that's where I uh, saw Mr Coleman and uh, oh, uh, Lord, Mr Chosen. Lloyd yeah. uh, both of them I've spoke to today oh, here okay, but yeah, um, but yeah it's, uh, I really enjoyed going back through those videos uh, but you've, you've got so, quite a few projects on at the moment you, yeah uh, a fair few yeah how many cars have you got now, Matt? I think it's about 10 or 11. 10, 10 or 11. Or could could be either way. I'm not, yeah, I lose, I lose count. Sometimes yeah. I forget which cars I own. And not all of them are running, and, and uh, Matt's not some millionaire playboy. Is the, Most of the cars are quite modest yeah, vehicles, yeah. aren't they, Matt? I think the, the most expensive I've, I've bought amongst them would be like two or £3,000. Mostly they're a couple of hundred. Yeah. Or free. Now, Matt having... Uh, quite a big subscriber base about 50 or thousand uh, 57 I think he just clicked over to so yeah, yeah. 57,000 subscribers uh, so Matt gets offered a lot of fantastic cars to to review as well don't yeah, you yeah I've got a lot of emails I'm, I'm if you're watching this and you have sent something and I've not come back to you or I've said yes and I haven't done it yet I'm very sorry because uh, <laughs> I just haven't had time to do it I got offered a lot during lockdown which I wasn't able to get to because there was a lockdown on um, but I've started working through them this summertime but I'm still a long way behind on everything that yeah. I have been offered I know uh, some of the viewers of my channel obviously uh, will be watching because of the my Mark 1 uh, Megane Coupe mm, oh yeah uh, you actually had a phase 2 I did yes a on silver the channel one. a yeah. silver one that was very nice yeah 2 litre in uh, direct injection yes, engine that yeah. one, yeah. yeah. Well, see, mine's a, a more modest 90 horsepower eight valve mm. 1.6 affair, but uh, but yeah, you actually quite enjoyed that car, didn't I you? I really did, yeah. I'd actually driven it very briefly around a car park before I did the review. Um, and I, came, I said to the, the owner, it was a car dealer, owned it, I, I want to drive that car because I'd seen it, I thought that's nice, but you know, if I get time, I'll do it. Then I drove it quickly around the car park and said, that's really nice. <laughs> and I tried to part exchange my Rover Coupe for it, but he wouldn't have it. Oh, no, I don't, I don't know if I'd... Uh, mm, just buy one of each. Well, that is the solution I usually go for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, there are space limitations, ultimately, they, they get the better of you. Now, I'm a, a big fan of R8s. I, haven't, I don't mm. own one as of yet, but uh, you've, you've obviously had the Quentin, the convertible. Yeah, that's right. Uh, which that's still for sale. Many of us wondered why you bought that car the state it was in, but you've really transformed well, that I could car. See, I could see it had the potential to be a good car, because I, it was rush-free. It was not, there's no corrosion in it. Everything looked good. It had not had a gas, not had a head gasket failure. The interior was just relatively tidy, just very bit, bit tired and dirty. Um, and I bought it for cheap enough that I thought if it was complete rubbish, I could break it for parts. But having seen it when I got it home, I could see it was worthwhile fixing. Yeah. Um, people didn't think that it would be, but I really could see it was. The trouble was though, by the time it was done, it was the end of the year, the wrong time of year to sell a convertible. Yeah. So yeah. I've got a, I've basically kind of stuck with it's the wrong word, but yeah, it's in storage now until the new year when it's got suns coming out, springs on around and people will be you know, wanting to be driving a soft top. Yeah, so I'm hope... like you, I prefer convertibles in the winter and get the heater oh, on. I, yeah. I, I don't do too well with the sun either. No, I don't like the sunshine. Um... So yeah, I'm not a convertible <coughs> driver. So I've, I've saved the car for the sake of saving it because they are incredibly rare. There's about, well, less than a hundred that I'm aware of on the road. Yeah, so... I know some of them, the three doors as well are quite rare now. Three door they? Rovers, and, yeah, the three door R8s are very rare. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Lots have come broken. to rust, haven't they? Yeah, rust or have had a mechanical problem <laughs> and it's not been financially viable to save it so people have just broken it for parts yeah um, obviously r8s aren't the only thing you've got to, a recent acquisition haven't you the uh, the, the, the r3, r3 bubble. yeah yeah the 200 vi yeah yeah again a very rare car <clears throat> Yeah. I've, I've been after one of those for a while because they are a bit more discreet than the BRM. Yeah. No, I do love a BRM as well, though. Have you seen the BRMs on I, Very display? briefly. I've not, I've not really left the stand, to be perfectly honest. I've been stuck here the entire... Not stuck here. I've been, 
yeah. I've been here the entire time, but it's been such a popular, surprisingly popular stand yeah. that I've not been able to get away. I must admit, at the Hub Not Social, Ian was very much in demand. It was mm. uh, it was a quick hello, and there was very little chance for anything else. No. Yeah. Uh, and tomorrow being a Sunday, possibly going to be even busier than today. I don't know. I don't know. It's, I'm not expecting to see much of the show tomorrow either. It took me an hour to get in the car park this really? morning. Really? Yeah. Really yeah. Uh, crazy. But, uh, I can believe it. But uh, yeah, well, hopefully you'll get a chance to see a bit more of the show. Well, and, uh, because we're exhibitors, we, we get to hang around a little bit early and a little bit late. So I've managed to do so half an hour either side of the show each day, yeah. and that's my my view of the show with half of it undercover. Presumably you've done some filming as well. Yeah, for half an hour either side of the day. Yeah. So we'll look forward to at least seeing that then. A little bit, yeah. You, you'll, yeah. Have, you'll have the shots of the cars I've got, but without people walking in front and. Yeah, I've also got shots of a lot of cars with covers over them because they've. <laughs> Maybe we could do a quiz, guess the, guess guess the, the car. Guess the car, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that might be the thing to do, yeah. Well, that's brilliant, Matt. Well, uh, best of luck with Thank the uh, ongoing project. Thank you and, indeed. Uh, obviously, uh, like I say, you're probably already watching Matt's channel, but if not, it's, Matt's is one of the channels that got me into this in the first place, so definitely well, and I appreciate your comments on my, my videos as well, so I, do, so I see your comments and I appreciate your, yeah, your, yeah. your, your contribution. That, yes, I think I'll be... Uh, it's a shame I don't get very many comments on, uh, on mine at the moment, but uh, well, yeah. it's nice to get that interaction. At least you know oh, people. Yeah, enjoying exactly, what they're yeah. watching then. Which is, which is the great thing about doing this and seeing people here because then you do see that yeah people have enjoyed it and then, yeah that's quite touching when people come up and yeah. well obviously yeah. my battery's taken a, a hammer yeah. in today so yeah, uh, we'll probably end this before we get cut off yeah uh, <laughs> but it, it's been fantastic meeting you and, uh, and having you too, time yeah. to chat nice to meet you last yeah. thanks Matt see you later Bye -bye.